purchasing a home, maybe it's your first and you don't know where to get started, stay tuned and I'll give you three things that you need to do to purchase a home. Step one is very important. Before you can go house shopping, you need to get pre-approved. This means that you need to talk to a lender, give them all the documentation they request and require, and once you have that piece of paper saying you are pre-approved, it'll have a amount, uh, like a comfort zone, I like to call it. I'll explain that in a little bit. And we can go house shopping. Now, if you don't know any lenders, I have a ton I like to work with. So reach out to me. I'll hook you up with someone that I think will take really great care of you. Someone you can trust because finances is kind of a big deal. So once you get your pre-approval letter, um, we can sit down. Technically, we can sit down before that, but we can't officially house shop until we have that letter. Now, something I always tell my buyers is you will have a max number that you can shop in, like a price range. So let's say you're pre-approved for up to 450, but that monthly payment is not gonna be comfortable for your living style. I would suggest going to your lender and saying, hey, I am comfortable with spending about 2,000 for my mortgage, what purchase price does that put me at? And then we can say, okay, this is our shopping. That's why I say comfort zone. So that'll be our number that we shop under or in like that price range. Or if that's not high enough for you, we can work with the lender to say, okay, in order to get there, we need X amount saved for a down payment so that your that amount of cash is gonna help you get to that monthly payment, if that makes sense. I don't wanna confuse you, but just meet with me. We'll talk it through, your lender will explain. Um, so yeah, step one, talk to a lender, talk to me. That's kind of two steps in one, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now you're pre-approved, yay! We can do the fun part, which is house shopping. Who doesn't love shopping and who doesn't love houses, am I right, people? Ladies. Um, anyways, so before we go house shopping, I want to make sure that I sit down with you and give you my buyer binder. So there's a process I like to do. Uh, first of all, I like to get to know you, get to know what you want, where you wanna be, what your needs are, because wants and needs are different, what you can compromise on, what you can't let go of. Um, so that's a huge step. But the buyer binder is something that I've created for all of my clients, especially first timers, you need this. Um, it talks about everything from A to Z escrow, what you're gonna be experiencing, what to expect, um, and there's just a lot of great information and it's a great spot for throughout the escrow process when you get documents from me, which you will, like disclosures and anything else that comes along the way, you can put it all in here so that even like a year or two later or you know when you go to sell your house, you have a place with all the documents and it's organized. So um, that is step number two, meeting with me and then house shopping. Okay. So we've been house shopping. Maybe we've only seen one house. Maybe we've seen a million, but you have found the one. You are ready to write an offer. We sit down, we look at the, uh, we talk to the lender. We see what the lender says you can do financially, um, whether that's like the amount of the down payment, your earnest money deposit, which is a deposit that you put down within the first three days of getting your offer accepted. And that's the chunk of change you could lose if you break contract illegally. Illegally is the keyword. Um, anyways, so we figure out all the details, fill in all the blanks for our offer and submit it. All right, so our offer is submitted, now what? Uh, technically, according to the typical average contract, the seller has three days to review it and make a decision. Um, if it's a strong competing offer, we might be countered to give everybody one last chance to submit their highest and best, or we might be denied, which sucks, but that's happening a lot um, in this competitive market, especially I would expect your first couple of offers to be rejected just to be emotionally and mentally prepared, uh, but it doesn't always happen. I've had a lot of clients get their first offer accepted. Like I said, factors, it's just hard to um, really tell you what exactly is gonna happen. But let's say your offer is accepted, you are officially in escrow, and my buyer binder and our conversation will explain what happens next. But this video is really just telling you what you need to do to prepare yourself to purchase. And I believe I covered all those things for you already. So 
if you have any questions, if you'd like to meet with me, um, get this buyer binder in your hands. I've had a couple of people take this and they didn't buy it for another year. I've had some meet with me thinking they weren't ready um, until the next year and they found out that they were ready right away. It just depends. So if you're thinking about purchasing a home, just talk to me. I'll get you connected with a lender. We'll see where you're at financially. If you're ready, we're gonna go for it. If you're not, we'll wait, but then you'll have a game plan and you'll know how to get ready. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you're gonna buy a house anytime soon, just talk to me and at least get the process started and the conversation going and let's go house shopping. Have a great day, you guys.